I don't think I've ever seen someone this desperate for attention. This is just hilarious. And it's, it's pretty pathetic, don't get me wrong, it's pathetic as hell. But it's pretty funny. It's funny how I'm so easily able to get underneath the skins of these Percy Jackson clowns. Because it's just too easy. It's the same thing with the DC fans. It's so easy to get underneath their skins to make them throw a gigantic tantrum like this. Like, I don't think I get... Like, when it comes to the Percy Jackson fans, there is no more toxic fans. Well, DC gives them a run for their money. But this is just embarrassing. <laughs> I like giving you guys a good- I love giving you guys a good laugh every once in a while when it comes to just these rants and everything. Just do it to give you guys a good laugh like I did with the backdoor release being cancelled because that was just funny as hell. And both times this guy has literally used my footage to try to prop up a non-existent point. It's embarrassing. It really is. It, it's so fucking funny. So I, I don't even know what, I don't know what this guy's goal is here. I don't know if he's trying to upset me or something or make me angry. All he's doing is making me laugh. This is because it's showing, it, all it does is show a weakness in the Percy Jackson fan base. It shows how weak, sensitive, and desperate they are. Because that, that's just all this is. It's just a weak, desperate cry for help from the Percy Jackson fan base. That's all it is. I'm not one to cater to fan bases. If I like something, I like something. If I hate something, I don't care how much backlash I get for it. Not gonna change a thing. Cause my most viewed video is me trashing this casting, these casting choices by Rick Riordan. And what's even funnier is that people still refuse to accept the fact that this is shitty casting. And again, the even funnier bit is them calling me racist or whatever other is they want to use. And not only that, they seem to think that, and I've mentioned this several times already in other videos, that they seem to think I'm shitting on the actors. When they can never point out a single point where I said anything against the actors themselves. They could all be great actors. I haven't seen them in much that's good, but that doesn't mean anything. You could have... You could have Chris Pratt in your movie, one of the greatest actors on our planet, and Michael B. Jordan in your movie. You could have Chris Pratt and Michael B. Jordan as your two combo as the front of your movie. But if you're going to cast them as Sherlock Holmes and Watson, that's still, it doesn't matter if they are a good cast, that's not good casting. There is a difference, and people can't accept that. They seem to think if you hate this casting, you are racist. And it's not just the fan base, it's also Rick Riordan, his wife, and all the other idiots who simp for Disney and this go this god-awful show and all of Disney Plus's bullshit like Obi-Wan Kenobi and or all their other and their movies as well like Cheaper by the Dozen which one of these actors was in and wasn't very good in so there you go people seem to oh you haven't seen them in anything yeah I have and I've recently just watched uh, Secret Headquarters which had the lead actor and he wasn't very good he was good in the Adam Project but Secret Headquarters did not give me much much anticipation for this and there are many people in the comments that have pointed out that yes this is shitty casting because they don't look the part you cannot this is a visual medium. If you don't look the part, you shouldn't play the part, because your visual perception of the character should be the same. You should be able to recognize the character as soon as they come on screen, because of how they're described in the book. And Brandon had the balls to say, this is how we always imagine the characters, yet there are many, many times where he describes Annabeth as pale, with blonde hair, California girl style, I guess, that's... Not really how you pronounce it, but that's how he described it, and that's not what the casting was. And this idiot is just so desperate to upset me or something. And I just find it fucking hilarious. And he's not even a good YouTuber. He's boring as hell, and he doesn't even have any points. Like, his points are non-existent. And, oh, he'll, he'll make you believe, like, he'll have this little description, oh, I'm funny and super creative, and he's neither of those things. So, yeah, again, just giving you guys a good laugh. He keeps making these videos. I'm just going to keep laughing at him because it's so desperate. Oh, my God. This is just, this is the funniest shit I've seen in a while. Like, I remember when the DC fans were sending me death threats. Eventually, it became funny, but it was a, but I was pissed. 
because because it showed because I wanted to be a DC fan. I want to be a DC fan, but I can't anymore. I I knew I was going to hate this show the second it was announced. Because just purely on the fact that Rick Riordan was writing it, because not only does he have zero experience writing screenplays, he hasn't written a good book since 2012. So why should I give him the benefit of that? It doesn't help with all their... And then the casting was the final nail in the coffin. That, that, that was it. Right there, I'm just like, nope, this is garbage. He's not actually trying to... He, he said, oh, we're going to we're going to work our hardest to make it as close to the book as possible. And this lazy casting proved that that was a that that was bullshit. So thank you so much for watching. I've got a bullet train review. I know I've been saying that for weeks, but I do have one. I had to kind of re-record it because now I'm in a new setup. So that should be out maybe tomorrow that it should be. It should be out tomorrow. Like, like if it's not out tomorrow, I have no excuse for that. So I will see you all then. Bye.